Hi guys, I'm Samina from the CodeCottage.com and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are on day 22nd of our 30 days of code and we will be finishing our uh, front page today. Uh, we are learning how to build our very own WordPress theme from scratch and this is our local website uh, that we are developing in our local WordPress installation. And this right here is our static website that we created with HTML and CSS. and uh, so far we have finished most of our home page the only thing that's left is really this section right here the sign up section and the featured about me section let's get started but before we actually get into it one of the things that i noticed is that these images in our static are quite obviously square but when you look at the um, theme that we have created here, it sort of moves a little bit towards the rectangular um, shape, which is what we want to avoid. I would really like it to have a nice sort of square-ish uh, look and feel. And that's the reason I realized the one thing that we can do here is make changes to our dimensions right here. So instead of 400, I'll make it 350 and it should be just fine. Let me refresh that. And as you can see, there has been a slight change here. So what I'll do now is head into my um, back end, that is localhost WP admin, and I will regenerate the thumbnails. If you remember, every time we um, add new thumbnails we should always or we if we resize it in functions.php it's always good practice to resize or sorry to regenerate the thumbnails so we'll get working on that right now and once we're done with this everything else is going to fly by so now that our thumbnails have been regenerated i'll just visit this site and as you can see now it's a lot more square in shape so that's perfect now let's head over to our static site first uh, sorry, static site that's right here now this is what we want to do right now so what I'll do is I'll head into the code of my static website which is right here and I will look at the sign up section which is this thing right here so I'll copy that I'll head into my front page which is page-home.php and uh, just above the featured blog post and below featured categories I'll paste that now when I save it and I head into my local WordPress installation which is right here when I refresh this you see um, sorry you see a sign up form pop up right here brilliant just what we wanted but now what we want to do is obviously create an advanced custom field for the subscription right here so we get to choose what we want to post right here so this section will be using advanced custom fields and this will head into our uh, widgets area so let's do that the first thing that I want to do is clearly create a custom field type um, I'll just refresh that so I can head into the backend right here and in the custom fields I'll go to field groups and here I'll create a new field group and call it subscription box inside that I'll add a field subscribe so I'll do that subscribe text and automatically this comes up and it's text include or type in the title of your subscription box required yes and I will close this field then I will also add a yep I will also include um, another field subscribe button and that will be text again enter the text you wish to enter in the subscribe button and I'll just give an example here sign up or subscribe 
sign up, subscribe, etc. So you get the idea. That's the that's what the button should be called. And then finally, subscribe URL. That will be URL. Um, so now we will no need for the instructions. Maybe you can write type in the link to help your visitor subscribe to your newsletter perfect or emails just not no need for the newsletter and now the post type will be page type basically and it will be front page right here we want it to show up in the front page and I will publish that so I'll take a note of all of these and I'll add that into my um, ACF code sections ACF code for subscription box perfect and here now I'll say dollar subscribe text equals get underscore field that will be subscribe text next is subscribe button right there equals get underscore field subscribe underscore button perfect and lastly subscribe URL get underscore field subscribe underscore URL perfect so we have this right here now what we'll do is over here I will get rid of this and simply say PHP oops echo and I want that text to show up so I'll just copy this head into my sign up area and echo like so and this will remain I'll just um, include this in my um, actual form so the type is submit btn cat value will be subscribe so I'll just leave this the way it is we may not need this at the moment but I've just created this in case we want to make changes later on so for now this is perfect and I will save this and now when I refresh it you will see that the title will not be displaying perfect that's because we haven't actually added that in our front page which is right here so in our home there will be a new section called subscription box which is right here and I'll obviously now drag it between the featured and the blog button because I want it to be in order here I'll say sign up to our news letter to get free offers discounts and updates right now what I'll do is I'll just firstly cut this because what I've realized is that it's inside this value so I don't want to mess this up and add PHP I think subscribe it's a very standard thing and I don't want to make it more complicated so I'll head into field groups inside our um, subscription box and I'll delete the URL and the button text that we created because we don't really want it I'll update that and I'll also take it out from here because we I don't want it to confuse us at a later stage that's about it now I'll head back into pages and inside our subscription box which is right here and I'll paste what we had typed at the time I'll update this and it will show up right here there you go sign up to our newsletter to get free offers discounts and updates we know it's uh, dynamic now because if I take this out and then update this it will show it up over here perfect so I'll just leave it like this for now 
so our sign up section is done also now the final final thing that's left let's head into our custom or oh, sorry into our static website the final thing remaining is this beautiful feature it on the about me section right here so let's get working on this now again this is extremely easy nothing complicated we just create a new featured post we don't even have to actually create a new one because this is a square image and i want it to be 350 by 350 which ironically is exactly what we have right here in the featured categories so i'll be using that same one but if it if at any stage it confuses you and you want everything to be semantic you can create the exact same uh, image size only change the name to featured about or something like that so it doesn't confuse you but i've done this plenty of times and i don't want to um, repeat myself a lot so if this area if this section works for this part right here i'll be using that very same thing and in advanced custom fields obviously we create the featured about title featured about content and featured about button and featured about url so this button alone will have two separate fields one for the button text and one for the url featured text and featured content so let's get working um i'll first head into my local installation head into advanced custom fields field groups and i'll create a new field group called featured about right here and now i'll add fields firstly it will be um, featured about title which will be text i don't want to give any instructions it's required then i'll close this field and add a new field which will be called featured about content which will be this um, this body text right here, this thing. That will be the content. Let's head back into our local installation. It will be text area, right? It will be required. Text area because we'll be adding quite a lot of text there. So it's almost like a paragraph. So I want it to be there. That's perfect. Close the field and then i'll add another field called featured about button text right that's text uh, required yes and i'll close this field again and finally now um, i'll add another field called featured about button url perfect and this will be your url required certainly and now i'll close this field and our page type will be front page automatically shows up i'll publish this um now what i'll do is i'll head back into my um sublime text and inside my page home um, i'll just head to where i want to paste that thing which is right here head into index.html this is my featured about section which i'll copy and paste right here that's perfect now let's refresh this in our uh, why do i have this extra browser that goes let's refresh this in our home page or in our local wordpress installation and there'll be a broken image it's all very messy now because we still don't have our image so let's do that as you can see right here this is a broken image so now there's a broken image right here so what we want to do is basically just head into our dashboard and uh, create a custom post type so we'll be using custom post type just to create that featured image section and i'll say featured about image right and i'll say featured about images for the plural label and featured about image right here and here now i will get rid of everything except the title and the featured image that is it that's all that we'll create right so we've created this post type and it is visible right here featured about images actually i'll edit this and it's not just going to be the image it's going to be featured about right featured about featured about perfect and i will save that right here 
brilliant. So featured about. Refresh that right here. Somehow this still shows me featured about images, which is fine. Um, I'll head into this place right here and I'll add new and you'll see that there'll just be a title and the featured image. Now we head into our uh, custom fields, field groups, and we have created all of this, right, featured about. And here, instead of the page type equal to front page, I will change this to post type is equal to featured about image right here. And I'll update it. Now I'll head back into featured about images, add new, and you'll see a list of extra um, input fields that have been created right here. So here I'll just say featured about. Here I'll add my featured image. I'll just take this floral one. Uh, featured about title, hi, I'm Selena. And here I will just copy the same thing that we, maybe something else this time. I'll just head into the Court Cottage and there I have a featured about section which I will use right here. So I'll just take this and paste it right here, right? And here I'll say continue reading just to keep it a little different, right? And this will be HTTPS, the code cottage.com. And now I will publish that. Obviously, that's not going to show up over here because we haven't called it yet. So what I'll do is inside my row now, I'll do the exact same thing that we did over here. That is create a loop. So for now, just to save time, I will be copying this and pasting it right here. But instead of the post type being featured blog posts, I will head back like the little trick I showed you yesterday. I'll head into the feature about post and the post type is featured about image. So I will change that over here. Now here I will say PHP, the post thumbnail, and it will be featured categories. And obviously then it will pick up that 350 by 350 and it will look for the featured image inside uh, the featured about post type and display it where it has been uh, positioned. Over here now in the content, obviously I will also need to start the loop. I completely forgot about that. Apologies. So that's my loop and uh, this is the end of my loop. And in between that, I'll be adding this feature about content and span. Everything that was in between the row will be pasted right here. And I'll just make the indentations proper just so we are able to understand which div and other tags belong where. Now here is the title. So like I specified yesterday, uh, PHP, I'll just say the underscore field and uh, that will be called, um, let's head back into our custom fields, field groups and featured about and the title is called featured about title. So the field right here inside our, uh, so I'll save that always inside quotes. So let's save that and refresh this and let's see what happens. So as you can see, I am Samina shows up, my image shows up. Now let's call the rest of the stuff. The paragraph here will have the underscore field and inside my quotes, single quotes, I will add featured about content Oops, number text area as well, just this much. I'll paste that there and let's refresh this thing right here and it should show up. So as you can see, my message shows up. I obviously don't want to include such a large quantity of text. So I'll be changing that later on. Now over here, I'll say PHP, the underscore field for the link 
um, the link is called featured about button URL. So paste that there. And finally then, the featured button text, I will place that here. Get rid of read more, PHP, and the underscore field. And inside my quotation, single quotes, I'll paste that, save it. And I'll just show continue reading instead of read more. Brilliant, I love how that looks. And I will just head into the dashboard now. And inside my blog posts, featured images right here, I obviously cut down because you don't want to make it text heavy. That's it. Just about 30 to 40 words, not more, should be plenty. That's what the ideal quantity should be. Now, obviously, because of the size of our uh, featured image, which we have adjusted here, we'll have to make changes to the um, text right here. So this is basically featured about content. And the top there was quite a lot, 105 pixels. I'll change that to... Um, say 100 or maybe even 90 100 is fine I think or maybe even like 95 pixels 98 or 97 yep so 97 pixels look good that is just brilliant so what I'll do now is I'll head into custom.php inside my local installation WordPress and inside the section for featured about i will change that 105 pixels to 97 pixels save it refresh it and it is good to go let's just take that so i just want you to compare the local website with the actual front page that we have created right here i think it looks fabulous we are done for the day the day 22 for creating wordpress theme is ready and uh, we are now all set to start working on our uh, page or the blog.html, which is right here. This is what we'll be doing in tomorrow's video, which won't take very long because most of the outlook is actually ready. Now that the home page, the mammoth sized home page, which was the biggest task is now ready that is our static website this is our original uh, local installation i mean look how stunning this looks i hope you're proud and happy if you're creating this theme along with me because this is a really amazing feat and achievement and i'm just so excited to be on this journey with you if you are finding these videos helpful and if you're liking what you're creating and if you're liking these videos and you want to learn more then give this video a big thumbs up and also uh, pop down your feedback and your suggestions in the comments box below and if you like this video and want to see more of these kind of tutorials which i'll be posting very regularly very often then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time i post a new video and i'll see you again for day 23 uh, where we'll be making these blog excerpts until then goodbye and happy coding